offering my most reverential pranams at the divine lotus feet of our beloved Bhagwan, respected elders, sisters and that he usually raised looking at us are, what is your name Bangaru? Where do you come from? An ordinary teacher might get tired of asking us the same question, even if we give the same wrong answer every time it is asked of us. But our dear Lord continues to ask us these questions again and again until we give him the right answer. These questions that Bhagwan kept asking us again and again. We will be in a position after this session to give us, give him the correct answer. I have been asked to introduce someone, GK uncle, among the Sai circles. Educated in Chennai at the Loyola College, his prestigious honorary secretary and correspondent of Sri Tyagaraya Educational Institutions. He has been in Swami's fold from a young age. As part of the Sri Satya Sai Seva organizations, he has been very active and has occupied many roles, including being the district president of Chennai in 1976, member of the State Trust in 1978, State Trust convener in 1995. I vividly recollect that during whenever we used to come to put up a setting an ideal example for the Sevadals and active workers leading them from the front. On numerous occasions, Bhagavan had blessed him to speak to the devotees at Prashantanilayam, Brindavan, Uti, Kodekanal and Chennai in his divine presence. As indicated earlier, TJK uncle would be addressing us on the topic, what was I, what am I and what should I be? I'm sure that our understanding of our reality would definitely be enriched in this talk. Uncle has also graciously consented to answer a few questions that the viewers would like to get clarification on. Kindly raise them. Om Sri Sai Ram. Om Namo Bhagavate Sai Devaya Mahan Bhavaya. Obeisances, our salutations, loving pranams, and so on. I'm also offering the same thing, but in a different language called Sanskrit, because this has been predicted by Sage Vyasa 5,800 years ago, how the Lord in Kali Yuga looks like, that is the meaning of this particular uh, sloka. I'll give the meaning now, word by word, word by word. Whenever we start about the uh, God, we start with Om. Why Om? Why should it not start without Om? Man has got three kinds of powers, mental power, physical power, and mindfulness. Nama, mindlessness. That means you are beyond the three gunas. Namo, Om Namo Bhagavate. Swami is called creation in his hand. That is Bhagavan. But today, so many people using this word Bhagavan without knowing the real meaning. So uh, next is uh, Sai Devaya. Sai means, general, literary meaning is Divine Mother. But actually, esoteric meaning is Sai means transcendent, deep in temple. There are 18 steps are there to reach God. What are they? The five is the gross elements. Five, five Panchabhutas, 15. Rajogunam, Tamogunam, Satsugunam, 18. Beyond 18, he is there. Or you can use the word Trigunatita. So Sai Devaya means transcendental Lord. Next comes Mahanubhavaya. Maha means biggest of the biggest, Vibhuti Pati. Vibhuti means general, we think of as sacred as. Ubiti means in, say, in Sanskrit word, it is known as spiritual opulences. Opulences means assets, spiritual assets. Pati is the master of the spiritual opulences. Then next comes Sakala Saswata Parivrinda. All the scriptures of all the religions confirm you are the supreme personality of Godhead. People may call me by, by any names, by any names, any form, but there is only one. Ekam Sat, Vipra, Bauda, Vidanti. So let us not bother about what names you are you have been given by us. But that is the that is the pure confirmation from the scriptures. You are the supreme personality of Godhead and you are one without a second. Karakamala Kudmalo Palalita. Especially in this Kali Yuga, according to Sage Vyasa, 
your lotus feet is always surrounds lotus bud ready yet to be blossom into flower that means youngsters see in the case of rama he came alone in the case of krishna he also came alone in the case of swami you see always students are flocking around him always okay it is mentioned already there okay he loves people he loves youngsters okay, they are going to be the future world of the future of the citizens of this world so therefore he is kudma lopalalita charanara vinda mini charanara vinda your lotus feet is surrounded by these people these youngsters parama parama is this you are it was given to me what was i what what uh, what are we what am i and what should be i be that means immediately you get a feeling that i am different you are different different you are different i do not agree with that we are all children of god you all belong to one family what is the question of saying i am separated you are separated instead of that i use, i would like to use the word we what were we what is swami now what are we today next what are we going to do the first one the past first question and second question is the past tense all the done everybody knows but anyway still i will explain for a little more but the third question what should i be is very very important you must know the purpose of human life is not to be born again that means liberation means we got to be in his half it is in his place in the heart in his place in his heart in his kingdom of heaven should not come down to a material world once again that is the purpose of life that is be that will concentrate on the third part of it now what will be imagine when children is born in our family especially in indians they immediately they celebrate called namakarana ceremony and the namakarana ceremony astrologer draws out the chart family chart horoscope chart and the horoscope they talk about it never said he only talks about the material point of view the parents also are very happy because the son is going to be materialized Literally, he is going to be strong and rich. So that's why he goes. When he becomes uh, at a teenager, some more teenager, ah, sometimes Bali because sometimes he is called the age. He was dragged into Swami's organization. How? Some are come at the uh, age of five, some are come at the age of fifteen, some are come at the age of twenty, and so on. This is because prarabdha karma. What do you mean by prarabdha karma? I mean, we ask Swami. Swami, I came only at the age of thirty. somebody comes at 20 somebody comes at 10 what is this he says all the people who are now with me will be with me have been already selected by me in the previous yugas in the previous yugas they served me parents left so i asked them to come with me so that they will serve better now and this should be their last birth therefore your prarabdha karma must have you must have served not only me the great sages those days so you are that's why i called you at this particular age 5 10 20 30 like that when you go there then we call we sit with the bhajans we start how this how we start at the sai organization we start with the bhajans seva this and that and all those things then you slowly you become engrossed in this take a lot of interest in surgery study and thing when you do it then you will become a age of about 20 year old 30 year old service one day after 30 year old swami I asked Swami. Swami, I came here thirty, forty years ago. I did this, I did that, I did that. Everything. I am hundred percent attendance in Puttaparthi. No seva has been missed by me. So that means I feel I am eligible to be liberated, to be with you forever. Am I correct, Swami? Swami says no. What Swami? I did. I did so much work, so much of service I did, so much seva I did, and how do you say that I am not eligible? My dear boy, you are done for yourself, for your own purification. All these things, all these things that you have done is so that no contamination will come to you, no bad thoughts come to you, no evil thought, no bad company came to you. So that is the reason why. Then, then what are you doing? What will you do with that, with that Swami? I protect you. I only protect you, but I am not giving liberation. I protect you. I protect all my sadhus, members of the sadhus organization. It is my duty to protect. Why? Because they are work. They are purifying themselves. When they purifying themselves, my my whole responsibility comes to take care of you. Did they not take care of you in your car accident? He said. Uh, yes, I mean, yeah, I said yes, yes. Tell me what happened to your car car accident. You tell me. He said. So in 1990, July 29. 
I was driving a car, about 15 year old car. It's a junk car. I was driving, my wife was sitting next to me and another friend of mine sitting in the rear seat and two suitcases, one belongs to me, one belongs to Swami from Bangalore to Puttaputti and traveling. About, about seven, seven kilometers before the Chikbalapur, a buffalo came in front. I applied all of the brake. The car somersaulted four times. There's no airbag, the roof was stoned, and uh, petrol was uh, put in. And he, uh, Swami, opposite uh, buses are not coming. Behind, uh, there's no lorries. And left side and right side, there's a ditch. But the car stood on its wheel without being burnt. And my suitcase came out of the road, and Swami's suitcase was in the car. I asked my wife, check up whether you got any, any internal bleeding or uh, anything happened? He said, no, I'm 100% okay. I asked my friend, how did you, what happened? I'm 100% okay. For me, collarbone was broken, right, right side collarbone was broken, but no pain. So I came back, and my people came back, picked me up from Bangalore, from Bangalore, went back to Bangalore, and doctor wanted to do a scan because of internal bleeding may be there. I said, no, we came to Swami, we are all signed devotee. I don't want all those things. We came, we came back to Madras. And they gave a telegram next day morning. And after two weeks, three weeks, I came to Puttaparthi. There was one uh, Oberoi, Captain Oberoi, he was in charge of the you know, Puttaparthi airport at the time. And he called me, hey, Kishabuti, what happened to the accident? How did you, what happened? How are you and all this? I said, what accident? How do you want to start off? I said, I know. On that day, 1048, you four times somersaulted, or stood on its wheel. He started explaining. Then I asked him, how do you know all these things? And he said, Swami told me. At one minute later, after stopping your car, he came out and I was happy to be there. He explained to me. My God. Then I thought I went and sat there in the veranda. Swami came out, looked at me, lifted his eyebrows like this. Uh, Vince, how are you? Then slowly I showed my right collar. That's all, I'm okay. Then next day, Swami was leaving for Brindavan. Because 400 Japanese delegates came. They could not get the transportation to reach Puttaparthi. So Swami said, I'll come. We asked them to be there. So he asked me, hey, you also come to Puttaparthi, the uh, white field. Yes, Swami. Went there. And he, Swami called them and there, uh, for a pyramid to address them. Swami wanted me to, call, to talk about your car accident. In a car accident, when I talk about car accident, Swami said, I told Swami has saved me. Otherwise, I would have been dead. Swami immediately stopped it and said, I never saved you. I was surprised and shocked. If you had not saved me, who else? Who else? That's a different question, but I did not save you. Then I asked Swami, tell me the truth. What is it? How did I get uh, uh, safe by car accident? He said, all along, all these things, we put put up at the, in your place, you are doing servicing, uh, serving the needy, Serving the people, serving without knowing them who they are, what they are, and all those things. In the chair, thank you, Sairam. You immediately said, Don't thank me, thank the Lord. All those thanks come to me. I opened a credit in my, uh, my, in my book, in your account. All those thank the Lord that I come, I store it for your sake. So, for example, it stored, say for example, it stored up to a up to million. Your car accident required about 500,000. Automatically, whatever you say to the credit, it automatically goes there and saves you. But your parada karma is such an aspect accident, therefore, slight accident, collarbone was broken without pain. So that means you are saving, this is now I take care of my devotees, but giving liberation is something different. Taking care of them is different. Swami, so, mean, I think it requires a lot of explanation. Saving different, and at the same time, you don't give liberation. How? how how to explain this, Swami? Swami said, there is a house manager, the house lord is house is in the house, the elderly man is there, he has got a son, he has got a servant. The servant is also there for more than 20 years. He is taking care of, the boss is taking care of him for everything. And the son also is taking care of him. You are a sadhaka, you are aspirant, you are a sadhaka, you are aspirant, you are a striver. Our process of becoming a devotee. So that means we are not devoted, Swami. 
Oh, in the, not in the true sense. What is this, Swami? 30 years of experience, 40 years of experience, and you say that you are not, uh, not a devotee. We all say ourselves we are devotees, devotees. No. Devotee means one pointed attention. How many attentions are there for you? Won't you go out? You think of so many things. That is not correct. So, one pointed attention. So, so what should we do now? Or oh, what should we do now? He said, just imagine. You are not full-time devotees, according to me, Swami says. So what should we do, Swami? You are only one day, myself and one uh, Abdul Raji, who was the trust convener of our trust. We both went to Swami. Swami asked him, how is Krishnamurti? Oh, Krishnamurti is okay, Swami, he is doing very good, Swami. No, 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 no. He is only a part-time devotee. When he said he is a part-time devotee, everybody like, smiled, I also smiled. I went back home, I went back to my room and started thinking, what is this part-time devotee? Part-time devotee means, generally we see in the market, a part-time devotee work for three to four hours a day, get a lump sum, no question of uh, any bonus, leave, better to leave, better to leave, nothing, no, nothing like that. That's it, unless you become a full devotee. Full devotee means eight hours to work. Out of the 24 hours now, time is itself short for me. How can I allot eight hours work for Swami now? How can I become a full day? I want to become a full time devotee. At the same time, I'm not in a position to allot eight hours out of these 24 for swimming. This 24 itself is not enough. Then I broke my head and I went after two months. I went to Swami. I'm so much confused. You made me a part time devotee. How to make a full time devotee? Swami said, I'm Very easy. Very, very easy. You are a buffalo. You don't understand. Very easy. What it is, Swami? Whatever you do, you do it for me. You are eating for my sake. Why? Energy that we get out of the food, I'm going, you are going to utilize my service. You are going to college, why? You are going to be educated, you know more about me. You are going to the office, you earn money, yes, earn money, you require to stay, to stay and look after your wife and children, so that you come to me later. Everything, every action of yours is for me. Then I can express you, I can take you as a devotee. Now you are doing so many actions for years. You put about the years, done 30 times, 30 years of experience anywhere. You may say, in the Sai organization, you might say, I agree. For example, you are son of so and so, what is your father's name? And I question to you in the crowd, in the, in the crowd. You say, I am, I am son of so and so. Can you say that uh, I am the devotee of Bhagavan Sri Satsai Baba? Can you say that in the crowd? Non devotees crowd, you are afraid. That shows you are not a devotee. See, so many things are, these are the things, you know, we, we done all these 30 years of wasted of time, we did not get into the heart. You see, uh, I don't know whether you, you must have seen in Christmas, people give Christmas a tree. Have you seen that? They, they keep a Christmas a tree. And when and it's all, uh, the serial lights are there in the Christmas tree. And whenever you say a Merry Christmas greeting, they put it in the tree. So what is the significance of this tree? Tree represents heaven. And serial dates already got a place in the heart, in the heaven. When you say this, we see card, Merry Christmas card. Merry Christmas card is put in the tree with a request to Swami, Oh Lord, please give a place in the heaven. So that means you have to place, get a place in the heaven. Then you are a devotee. So for that, what should we do? What should we do? So one point of attention. Okay, next to what else? You, you, you lost your qualifications and all those things agree. All those things agree. Then uh, when the things come to you, you are a family, everything is there. You, you consider your wife, your children. They're all devotees. Don't have body relationship with people. They're relations. There is a relation to me because children of God. Everybody is a child of God. Have that kind of a feeling. You love your son much better than your servant. Am I correct? Why? Because you have different differentiate between the son and the servant. No, all are equal before God. Develop that kind of a feeling, then I can take you into my heart. Once you take it to my heart, you will never come back. Why? In our history, your sister you must have seen. Go because the, the, the uneducated people in Krishna's time, they are, they are, God has given their place in the heart. Whereas here in this Kali Yuga now, so many educated people are there, rich people are there, 
scholarly people are there. Nobody got a place in his heart. Swami coolly says, I am yet to get a devotee. He says. That means, then what are we, Swami, then? See, the difference between you are in the postgraduate course, studying. Once you get a degree, you get master's degree. That means you are a devotee. You are in the postgraduate course means you are studying. You are going to be a devotee. That. So you be better to study. Study means what? Not your other books. Study, study, scholars study, but they know not what they should do. Study whatever that is necessary, so that that will take you to wisdom. Such books only you must read. So for us, don't read any other book. Read why any series are there. But you now people you know, they call like uh, outsiders, outsiders, they give a lecture. They have their own concept of giving lectures. If, if, if you take such devotees are there in the, those days. Even about 1100 years ago, whether we don't know whether you know you have Ramananda Acharya. Ramananda Acharya is the founder of Vishitadvait. He has got a disciple called Korath Alvar. He has got a son called Parasara Bhattar. This Parasara Bhattar was Archakan in Padraka Temple, Sri Lankam. He was very happy. Vantranga was very happy to see this Archakan doing a lot of service to him. One day he called him. I say, I will show you all my avatars, forms, you enjoy. Then he started showing you every avatars, this boy, this, uh, uh, this archaka, that is the parasara butter, he bent down his head, he did not want to see. And asked him, why did, you not, why did you not see all these things? Swami, not necessary, Swami. In my heart, I given a place for you, as Pandranga, and I got the name Pandranga, that is. That is Ekag Pachivrata Bhakti. That kind of a thing we have. Do oh. you know why? In, in Shivaratri, we call Shivaratri, Shiva Puja, and all that. Sri Ramanavami, separate food is made for Sri Ramanavami, separate food. So, you know, afterwards, you come to the Guru Pavadima, you go to the you may go to Guru Pavadima or you may not go. Vinayaka Chavati, some other food. The Kada Sesti, another food. Quality keeps on changing. You will keep on eating. So many things, so many forms, so many names. Only one name. Ekam Sat, Vipra, Bauda, Vidanti. Have one form, one name. Then circuit. See, you, then what happened? Your heart, you are using your musical chair. Change the form and name every day, now and then, now and then. If that is the case, you won't get that in this world. But uh, soon you are living in the 15th century. Near uh, Delhi, near Aslam, during Akbar time. Akbar was ruling this country. He was blind. I was always thinking about the glorification of Krishna, Lord Krishna. So Lord Krishna appeared before him and talked to him. Surdas, I have come. He got the darshan. He saw Swami. This is what he selects. Swami, please close my eyes once again. Why? So after seeing you, I don't want to see anything else other than your form. Let your form be there, immersed in my heart. That is bhakti. We think we don't belong to such category. No, we don't belong to such category. We want everything. That means you become a devotee for your own selfishness. Selfishness. That self should go. Self determination should come. For Jesus, Rajesh. You are you are you are Salam. So also, how do you say you are Salam? So also, that's what my mother told me. Any proof? I'll I ask your mother. Oh, mother, is uh, Rajesh is your son? She said, yes. How do you know? Any Pratyaksha Pramana? No. When the baby was came out of the body, he was taken out. T t 10 minutes, cleaned everything. After 10 minutes, the nurses come and told you, oh, here is your baby. You believe? That kind of a faith, wherever you go, you say, my mother's name is so and so. You don't know. You have no faith. You have no, sorry, you have no proof, but your mother's word. Like that, do you have that kind of a faith? Unconditional faith, uncontaminated faith. If you have that kind of faith, at night about one or two o'clock, the child cries. Immediately the mother comes, mother comes out, takes the baby and uh, 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 gives the give her milk, uh, make the child happy, make the child sleep. Then only she goes out to sleep. She goes back to her room. She is prepared to sacrifice her all her comforts for the vegetables. And the, the parents say, "Don't eat that vegetable because you won't get milk." Child requires milk. So even though she likes that, she stops it. 
And here as a vegetable, you take it because the child uh, requires milk, it gives to produce milk. You eat it, whether you don't like it, you eat it. You eat it. Why? For the check of teasing the child. You want the child to be happy at the time. Evening functions is there, and your husband calls you for a meeting, for a function, marriage function, you say, no, I have no time, I have to look after the child, you better go. So much of child sacrificing your, your physical comforts for the sake of your son, whom you call yourself, but you are not sure. That is faith, and that is love, that is sacrifice. When compared to our devotion, you have that kind of a faith, that kind of a love, that kind of uh, sacrifice. What is that we sacrifice? And the baby, this is what happened to me. And uh, next is faith leads to love, love leads to sacrifice, sacrifice leads to bliss. What is this bliss? Bliss means, for example, you see the uh, three months old baby, she, the mother uh, takes it and uh, face to face, uh, smile, talking to her, uh, talking to the child in old language. The child smiles at the mother's baby. She saw mother, she saw mother saw child is uh, smiling at her, she also smiles, without her knowledge. That is called bliss, blissfulness. Have you ever enjoyed blissfulness of Swami in you? Yes. When, whenever you do Pahalamskaram to Him, at that time, that first, that one, few seconds, you are in the stage of blissfulness. Afterwards, again, mind, mind gets into this Swami in the four points. So that, that has to continue. The reason why Swami gives Pahalamskaram to us, Seen everything, all your thoughts go away, and the only the what I remain is only yourself and myself, nothing else. Then, but the only thing is, the moment you come up, we forget everything. We again, mind gets into that is the only Swami. Your, your still time has not come to you. This is what Swami says. We've been trying and trying and trying. That is the reason why, in 2011, He said, I'm leaving. I ask him, what do you mean by leaving Swami? No, no, no. People, uh, all devotees are good, but leaders are no good. Leaders think they are leaders. No leader, Swami. You are the leader. We are all children, servants. We are your children. No, that's what you think. Others do not think like that. Others think they are, they are big, big, big people. There is no big people here, Swami. Why, what does it mean? We are not able to please Swami with our actions. Though he sacrifices his entire love, for us, entire life for us, but we are not sacrificing ourselves to, to Him. That what happened, we, He leaves us, and we think. Now again, some people say, Oh, Swami is not, Swami is not there, has gone to, now we have to go to Puttaparthi. You're an idiot. Don't talk like that, I said. This is the time where you should concentrate more on Swami. For example, you take a school teacher. There are 10 benches on the right side, 10 benches on the left side. Students are seated. When, when a teacher sits near the table and bench, you can see all the students. When he co comes in the middle of this, uh, middle, of the, middle of space, about five, 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 five benches in forward, and you can see the people only in the forward, not in the backward. So similarly in Puttaparthi, Swami is so busy with people, millions of people flock around him, he has no time to think of people who are severe uh, corner. Today, he has gone to heaven, he is seated there, you could see the entire universe, entire living species that is created by him. So this is the time where we should concentrate more on him to get his grace, to get his grace. And now he is able to see. Those days you used to feel, oh, I could not go to Prasantilam, so I could not get grace. Now that is not there. You can get his grace, you can get his blessing, wherever you are. Only thing is, have you given a place for you, for him in your heart? That is the most important. Once you give you a place, then he is happy with you. You are happy, you are happy with me. Please for, don't forget that. that uh, this is the way we should do, do more. Especially if you want youngsters to come up. Because the entire uh, world, once you know Swami said, my glory shall be sung in every village of the world. Who is going to do that? Young. You, that's the reason why his lotus feet is always surrounded by the youngsters. They are the people who are going to rule the country, rule the world. Just imagine a side devotee with all principles and all those things, becomes a governor, becomes a chief justice, becomes a IAS officer. Or they, you, nobody can bribe him. For them, Swami is great. Such people, the world, will, world is going to come to that level. That's what Swami said. So we, are, we, we the elders, may not be in a position to see those people 
but we always bless youngsters to do especially these youngsters today our young sai youngsters are so good i put a question to myself what was i at that time i was playing cricket football and everything but today they are more interested in the swami's work that is the reason so when they become my age they become exalted devotees ardent devotees they are sure to get a place in the heart of swami we are still trying to get a place in the heart of swami we are working for it only thing is practical you have to be little practical in your approach don't be don't bother about theory theory is there see a chemistry graduate he books read the books theory hydrochloric acid uh, sulfuric acid nitric acid all those yes all those things i have seen it no unless you go to laboratory what is stso4 what is scl what is ncl3 all the hydrochloric acid he sees that you know, what is the quality he will know everything what sort of a, In inference, you can get it by appearing, reacting with something else. That is called practical knowledge. Today, we have theoretical knowledge about Swami. Practical knowledge, if you have, then you are with Him and He is with you. What do you mean by practical? Whatever He says, you must know how to put it into practice. That is called practical. Practical means, for example, I will tell you, about two, three, four years ago, Swami Oh, in Kodaikanal, we are we are also in Kodaikanal. So we were uh, Swami gave a talk. Swami gave a talk. He said, "My students are very good as long as I was there with me, and here people are with me, and I am happy with them. Property, I am happy with them. The moment they go back to their native places, they again they become like any other ordinary people, and they are able to think. So I children, so I student, he really behave like this." And I get a bad name because of them. I'm very concerned about them. I'm not bothered about elderly people. It's all right. They're uh, but the youngsters. They should not behave like that. Calling themselves a shy student. How can they behave like this? I'm very concerned. I'm a little concerned about it. He said. And after two days, he wanted me to talk. Then I, I said. Then I went there. Swami said like this. Then uh, how to practice his his point? And I gave an example. That's called practical example. Example means, a uh, b- boss is there. He's got a car. He's got a driver, and he tells the driver, "Keep the car ready. We are going to go to office." He said, "Yes, sir." And the so, uh, boss is a side devotee. The driver is not. Driver is not a smoker. He likes the Hindi music, English music, and all those things. The car, the boss comes and sits in the car. I put side buttons tape. Side buttons he tapes it. He writes. He drives the car cautiously. No overtaking, no over speed, nothing. When there is automatic signal, his friends call him. Hello, hello, hello. He does not talk to them because boss is in the car. He goes to the goes to the office, drops the car, drops the boss there, and boss tells him, "Go home. Mother wants to go for shopping." So he said, "Yes, sir." The moment he said, "Yes, sir," he removes the budget tape. He puts his English, starts smoking, driving in one in one hand, and goes to his friends, takes them. Go for a tea and then go home late. The mother asks, "Why is so late?" The traffic jam made up. Now you watch his behavior when the boss was in the car. The boss was not in the car. When the boss was in the car, his behavior is exemplary, hundred percent pure. Similarly, you know, please think it over that the car is your body. You are the driver. The rear seat, Swami is seated there. If you get get that kind of a feeling, you can't commit mistake. You can't drive the car fast. You can't drive the car incorrectly. You're always concentrating. Then, then immediately Swami, you know what he did? He materialized a, a, a ring, a unique ring. This is a ring he gave me. So that means he wants us to put into practice what he teaches. We have to learn that to at least at least one. He says. Nanno anubhavichana va. He put that means, did you experience me? When you experience, at least you put it into practice. Here everyone knows. Swami has said so many points. I know so many things he said. He said why in his series. He said this much. Gita why in? He said this much. I know. But Satyam Shivam Sundar. All the things I know. Here it is. I know. I have put anything at least one in practice. That's what Swami wants. One in practice. Nanno anubhavichana va. Have you experienced me? Once you put it to practice, then you can experience my bliss. When you experience my bliss, you will be hundred percent healthy. Healthy. You may look old, but you are young in spirit. So experience me. 
So what, this is what you should do. Please follow it. Even now it's not too late. Anybody can experience him. You know, people will think, oh, he has gone. He has not gone. He's here. He's in you. He's in me. He's in everybody. Only thing you must feel that he's there. For example, you love the child, and suppose you 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 have to you have to go to some other place. You you, you do you think you forget the child? No, no. You immediately think, oh, my child must be sleeping now. Must uh, has given milk. All sorts of things you take care of it, isn't it? For example, a small example I'll give. You, uh, Myla, she is a but a child, about six months old baby. She looking after like anything, but she had to go for a, a evening a morning session in the organization. She has to give a talk. So she tells her mother-in-law, mother-in-law, see, I have to go there. I have to give a talk. So please take care of the baby. Baby, it is eight o'clock. This medicine, ten o'clock. This diet purchase, ten o'clock. Milk, ten o'clock. This everything I kept ready for her. My mother-in-law, please do it. Don't worry, my. You please go. So the the lady comes to the organization and she is attending meeting, attending talking. Forget about the child. When she goes back to when she goes to the bathroom and she is alone. Oh, ten forty-five. I think the eight and nine, eight o'clock meal has been given. Ten o'clock that has been given. This has been given, and she was thinking about all those. Things. Oh, yesterday night, you know, I was carrying baby, lifting up. She used it on my body. She thinks of that scene. She smiles. She smiles. Those who are there are watching. Others are watching. Why this woman is smiling at the in the lavatory? She's smiling because she feels the presence of her baby. How kept? How? Ever experience the presence of Swami in you at any time, at any place? No. Only in Puttaparthi you feel see Him. Otherwise, you don't take. That is called love. That is called devotion. You must develop that devotion. You develop that, then nothing is important. Everything is. He says very easy, very easy. He says, do it for my sake. That's all. Eating for my sake. I told you already. Eating for my sake. Going for my sake. Walking for my sake. Living for my sake. Then what happened? You do nothing. You see nothing. You you do know nothing. You everything is mine. Sacrifice everything for myself. Then it is your duty to sacrifice. This this is not the word sacrifice. We call it samarpanam. So nowadays students are doing it. The organization, the organization people samarpanam, samarpanam. What is samarpanam? I am offering to Swami everything that we have. What is it we have? Money. Position? No, no, no. What is that you are offering to Swami? Here is an example. Eight-year-old, ten-year-old child is there. When ten-year-old child, father is there. Nine o'clock, they have breakfast and food, and father drops the child in the school and he goes back to the office. This is not every every day. One day the food is ready. The child says, "Daddy, food is ready." Daddy is in the first floor. Looking after the files, and then she says, "No, better, no ma, no ma. You please have it. I'll come and join later." The food, the boy, the baby takes the food, eats one one morsel of food. Second one, she takes it, goes all the way first floor and gives it to daddy to eat his mouth. Daddy, very nice, daddy, very taste. So daddy accepts it, and then don't worry, I'll come back. I'll come in five few minutes. He comes back, eat everything, drop the school, drop her in the school, goes back to the office. And you think, look at my child. Everything belongs to me in the house. Our dress, our chair, our dress, our food, table, chair. Everything belongs to me. But what did she give me? She gave her love to me. Whatever she enjoyed, I should also enjoy. That is called devotion. That devotion is there. For that, it's very, very easy to accomplish that. First of all, you realize yourself. What are you? You got a body. Yes. You got senses, yes. You got mind, yes. Then you have anything else? Uh, no, but please note. You see, you are you are you are not sure whether you have anything more than these three. You have four intelligence, buddhi. Five, you got atma is in you. Number six, our God is in you. God is in you. God is the silent witness of your all your actions. Sarvabhuta Nivasa, oh, I think Swami saw his name. Sarvabhuta Nivasa, he lives in everybody's heart as a silent witness, saw his either. Now, what is the function of the mind? The mind tells you, um, keeps on getting ideas and ideas, thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and thoughts. The each thought you want to send it to senses. 
senses listen, takes the instruction to the mind, instruct the body to move. So you are using the mind to utilize the senses, senses utilize the body, then there is an action. Is the correct action? According to the Bhagavad Gita, it is Dushkarma, bad act, selfish act. Because mind always gives you selfishness, selfish act. Now what should you do? Whenever thought comes to you in the mind, keep quiet, don't react, then go down, let the, the your thought will go down to in buddhi. Buddhi is known as intellect. That buddhi will tell you whether you do accept or not accept. If it is, accept, if it is accepted, then the thought, come, thought comes up to mind, mind goes to senses, senses goes to body, that is known as sat karma. Because it is censored by buddhi. You are supposed, a man is supposed to behave like this. Whereas we are really using mind, senses and body, we are animals. Animals, we will get into problems. So always, any thought that comes to you, utilize your mind, utilize your buddhi. How did buddhi get into the correctness of it? Because behind that is called atma, the soul, S-O-U-L, or atma. This is so our spirit, whatever you may call it. The race of that atma falls as buddhi. So therefore, atma is the eternal truth, and the eternal the race of the eternal truth falls as buddhi. Buddhi always gives you eternal truth for you to behave. If you are using really all these things, you are sure to be liberated. But we don't use that. Then, how does it Atma? Atma is like a branch of his. And behind that, head of his, Paramatma is other. He is watching, silent witness of everything. He consults, he gives the power to Atma, Atma power to Buddhi, Buddhi instruction to mind. Then, our everything is Sat Karma. This is what Bhagavad Gita teaches. So, similarly, let us do an act after consulting only our intelligence. Buddhi has got two kinds of things, Vivekam and Vairagyam. Vivekam means the power of wisdom, power of discrimination. Vairagyam, power of detachment. Detach. So therefore, don't react for everything. If somebody accuses you, you must immediately think, Oh, Swami, you are testing me, that I am supposed to lose my temper. No, I am not going to lose my temper. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. At least I may be he's able to please himself by, by accusing me. I'm able to give you that much of happiness to him. Let him do it. Let him do it. Develop that habit. Swami likes it. So many people, Swami calls. Swami says, so many people call you so many things. He never bothered about it. You know, I did not want to tell you. You are extra for 1940s and all things. People talk ill about him. So many things, I know that. No, he did not care. Today, today, the so-called atheist. This so-called hardcore naxalite, ah, naxalite, I want to tell you, you don't know about it, this is new to you. I got a friend of mine in Bangalore, I just finished it with, with this particular incident, you should know. Naxalite means everybody is scared. They are hardcore naxalite, they kill, they remove the body, head separately, that kind of a people. So a friend of mine from Bangalore telephoned to me urgently, please come, I am in difficulties, I'm, my life is in danger, this and that and all those. Six o'clock flight, I went there. It is house. What happened? My son is being kidnapped by Naxalites. They are somewhere near Timkur forest. They are going to kill him. Please save my husband. Why? So this boy, uh, this man, my son, took some money in the villages. He did not return back. So they are, he said, I will not give up for some time. So they did not believe him. They wanted to kill him. I said, no, no, I'll go. And some other I found out and went there. At about 11 o'clock, I met these 49 people. I said, who are you? I said, I'm a friend of Saul. So his father's friend. What happened? He said, the money they gave. All right, you are killing him now. Do you think you, do you, think you get back your money? You won't get back your money. What is satisfaction you get? How are we going to please your, your people in that village? No, he did not give money. Therefore, we cut his body. He is the body. You are going to give his body to them. They want money. So I give a solution. I take guarantee for that money. Give, give it three months' time. Every month you see, you give, give, give this money, I am responsible. I am an elderly man, you are like my children. I am from Madras. I am from Madras. So some of them agreed, leave, boy, leave this boy, boy with me. And he came back, I took them, give me one address. We said it very well. Then we, we took the address. Then we started sharing the money. Every month, a little by little, 5,000, 10,000, 5,000, 10,000, like that. So they were very happy, they got the money. One day I was in Bangalore, I was going to Puttaparthi. They saw me in the airport. He said, sir, sir, do you remember we, the, you called us? I said, why are you in the airport? You are supposed to be in the village, in the forest. I said, no, sir, here also we are searching for money and all. You did not uh, escape. And where are you going? He said, 
I'm going to Puttaparthi. Sir, can you also come to Puttaparthi? Sir. I was scared to tell Ali Baba, I must ask Swami, you be here, I'll ask. And then I, if you say yes, then you come, otherwise you cannot come. Okay, so tomorrow I took his telephone number, I went to Swami. So uh, in the evening I went inside, asked Swami, this is what happened, this is what happened. There are 49 Naxalites are there. How did you get into them? Then I explained everything, this is how it is. Now they wanted to come and uh, have your darshan, Swami. All right, let them come tomorrow. So I asked them to come. So I also sit, sit with them so that you can easily identify them. So then they, they came and sat, and you know what, Swami looked at them and said, Virena, are these people? They said, yes, Swami. First time, second time, third time, Swami met the Vibhuti for about 10 people, and asked them to distribute all the 49. The 14 people happily went back, and during uh, Swami's departure in 2011, there were big for Swami's darshan, coffee darshan. I saw these 14 people are there. I said, wow, you have come here. Yeah. Well, on the, the moment we saw him, we, we, came, we became devotees, sir. We went to the police station, we surrendered all our weapons, everything. We are doing our service. That you, you did not want us to join in our organization. We have our own. We do such service to the central caste people, poor people. I'm doing it. Now, Swami has come. We came here to see Swami. Swami has not gone. So they saw, oh, they waited for three days. They saw Swami dressing everything. And they were going there and say, sir, we are, we are taking Swami with us. We are not, Swami is not gone. We are taking Swami with us to our village. That is the topic. That is the word out of the way in which they shouted in presence of everybody. I did not want to tell them they are the excellent people. Nobody will believe the way in which they talk. So such is the love. Swami conquers, uh, Swami conquers everybody with his love. So love conquers all. Sairam. Any, any questions, please? Sairam. Uh, Sairam, uncle, we have received a few questions. And I request also the uh, viewers to post if they have further questions on the chat window. Mm -hmm. As of now, we have a few questions, uncle. I will mm -hmm. read go out ahead. each question and maybe you can answer. Yeah. OK, then go ahead. Mind maketh a man. It is like a black box which carries impressions of past lives. If so, how to overcome it? First of all, the mind, you should use it as a servant. It, you should not go according to the mind's instruction. This one, I just now said body, senses and mind. Mind is only a storage of your past karmas, agreed. But that's that to be taken instruction from the soul, from the Atma you have. I explained to you explained to you about few minutes ago. One, two, three, four, five, six. One is body, two is senses, third is mind, fourth is buddhi, fifth is atma, uh, sixth is parma. So mind is a servant of the soul. So mind does not make you do future. The future depending upon the power of your buddhi, atma. Atma vicharana you, you should require. Therefore, if you want to come up in life, forget about the for a slave. Think of your intelligence, think of your buddhi, think of your atma. Think of your atma, that atma will certainly do it good for you. So therefore, mind, as long as you are using your mind, you are, you are gone in the wrong place. Don't use that mind. Use mind is only a slave, only servant. Only servant. Understand? So if you, if you are using your mind, you are become a servant, you are like a monkey. My, why Swami said mind is a monkey? Mind is a monkey. He never says soul is a monkey. He does not say that. Soul is Atma. Atma is God. Well, mind is a monkey. Which one should you use? So which makes him a man? Mind makes a man, or soul makes a man. You tell me. So therefore, they use it as servant. So like Swami says, uh, thanks, Uncle. Like Swami says, uh, master the mind and be a master mind. Uh, 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 second question, please. I'm sorry, I yes. could not hear it properly. Yeah. Tell me. The second question, what is meant by wisdom, knowledge and enlightenment? How to judge we have attained them? Now, for example, you are a student. 
let us say you are a science student, you are a chemistry student, you read all the books, you know the theory of chemistry, of all formulas, everything you know. That is called knowledge. But if you go to the laboratory, you mix the A and B, then you produce C, produce gas, that is called practical. So practical means you experience. Just now I told you about the car accident. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about the about Swami said uh, people are uh, not uh, people are not behaving by nature. I explained to you in Kodakana that uh, what, uh, practically how to use the Swami's ideals. You must know how to use it. How to use it is known as uh, practical. Knowing uh, knowing Swami's theory, Swami's saying everything is not a theory. Theory of no use. It's all right. It is storage there unless you use it. It is something like money. You are keeping your purse in your in your pocket, but unless you use it for your own purpose, then what is the money is of no use to you? The practical wisdom. And practical wisdom comes in enlightenment. Comes enlightenment means satisfaction. Satisfaction. So theory leads to practice. Practice leads to enlightenment. So with with the, with, with the theory alone, you are like a like, like a student. Student also says, uh, tiger is like that, lion is like that, and the egg boy says, I've seen him. No. I've seen the tiger in person, then it is practical knowledge. Oh, this is tiger, this is lion, this is like that. So practical knowledge is much better than theory. So theory alone does not tell, solve your problems. Go for practical example. After uh, putting it to practice, wisdom comes. Next. Thanks, Uncle. Next question. Do Go Atma ahead. and Paramatma coexist? Please explain. Both are coexist in the human body. That's why again, again said uh, body, senses, mind, buddhi, Atma and Paramatma. I said. Paramatma is the law of pain the screen. Paramatma is behind the screen. It is, it is there. So it, you must have seen in dramas, in villages, in the dramas, there is a black. Uh, drop, being that there is a prompter. The actor comes into the front and give one give dialogues, talks, and he forgets about his dialogues. Then he slowly walks in behind the, the screen and murmuring what is next, next, the, what is next sentence. When that fellow gives prompts about you, you immediately realize this. So, full children comes to act. As long as he, he, the front is known as the world, as long as you are in the world, your knowledge is zero. So if you go back to wisdom, go back to practical, then you know what is the reality. So therefore, your question is, repeat your question once again, please. Do Atma and Paramatma coexist? Yeah, yes. yes, because the Atma is something like a branch office. Paramatma is something like a head office. Qualitatively, both are same. But quantitatively, head of is billions of billions of money is there. They are prepared to give loans, 5 crores, 10 crores, 20 crores. Whereas the branch of village branch, they can only give 10,000, 20,000. So this is the branch of So qualitatively, both are same, I said. But if, if, if everything is the same. But this particular branch of always take instructions from the head of If somebody wants more money, immediately head of it, it talks talk head of it. Isn't it? So therefore, both are coexisting. And Atma should always be in touch with the Paramatma for the right action, for your behavior, for your liberation. For your liberation, Atma and Paramatma are absolutely necessary. If you are using mind, live, mind, senses, and mind, you are living, you are living. But you have to be born again. You should not want to be born for purpose of life if not to be born again. For that, Atma. Atma is individual conscious, S C I E N C E. Paramatma, universal consciousness, plural, infinite, infinite, both are there. That is the reason why Jantunam, Narajanma, Durlabham, highest species is man because God decides in that. God decides in your heart. Whereas in the case of animals, no. Animals, no. Animals, they go higher, higher species. For example, cow does his job, it does not violate any rule. Then next goes to the higher, higher, higher species, man. For the man, there is no higher species than man. This is the highest species. The only higher species for this is God himself. That is the reason why liberation. For uh, cows, tigers, animals, cats, there is no liberation. So go to the next species, next higher species. For us, no, this is the highest species. 
therefore, Atma and Paramatma subtly coexist in, the, in this body. You should utilize it. See, uh, all the sages you must have seen. Uh, for example, uh, this year, this particular year, era, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, then Kanchi uh, uh, Paramacharya, whether you know him or not, Ramana Maharshi, all these people, for them, any any action they will not do without without approval of Atma. Atma again in turn consults Paramatma. That's why they whatever they say it, it becomes a truth. It becomes truth. Whatever we say it will not become truth. Because for them the Paramatma speaks. That is the reason why they are known as yogis. They are known as sages, sannyasis, sages. So many things. So therefore, Atma and Paramatma subtly coexist in human body. We are ignorant. We came to Swami to know that we are Atma, not body. That's why we came to Swami. Once we know we are Atma, automatically we know what is Paramatma because behind it, it is there. Okay, next. Next, next. question. How to contemplate on Swami? What are the methods to, to be followed? How to contemplate on Swami? Okay. Now, this mother, uh, mother and child is exactly like you. The child is about two year old child. Then his mother, his mother has to go to Puttaparthi for some service. It was like this, and all sorts of things. Wherever she mother is, the child is always uh, she. The child is always in the mind of her mother. Correct. That is called love. That love. If you have that kind of a love, if you have that kind of a love, then it will be easy for you to contemplate. The child the mother is contemplating. Oh, now eleven o'clock, my mother-in-law would have given this milk. My mother-in-law would have changed this uh, diaper. So she is thinking, contemplating. Now, for example, I'll give you another example. You, you like Ramayana. Ramayana is a favorite book for you. Whenever there is the time for you, you read Ramayana. As you are concentrating on the book, you know, when you are in a particular room, and you do not know whether the fan is gone, fan is not on, because your concentration is so high. Next stage comes contemplation. As you are reading, as you are studying, you are visualizing. Rama is going to the forest. Sita Lakshmana is going to the forest. Sita is going to the forest. You see all the forest trees. They are walking. All the three are walking. You are also watching. You are walking, but you are not. You are not seen by yourself. You are seeing all the three. That is called the contemplation. Contemplation. If you are able to do contemplation for Swami, you are enjoying presence of Swami in you. That is the for that. Just sit down silently for five minutes. For example, for in your school day, we have a timetable. Uh, like 10 o'clock, uh, it's still 11 o'clock, geography and so on, timetable. He takes books according to the timetable. And yeah, the student's life, timetable is there. Am I sure? Am I correct? You agree? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Right. When you come to the worldly life, do you have a timetable? No. When you come to the worldly life, no, no timetable. So there, in, in your school day, one hour, moral class is there. Prayer, prayer is there. Correct? Correct. In every school there is a prayer. First hour there is a prayer. After prayer only they go to the classes. Am I correct? Correct, uncle. Right. Now what are your prayer doing now uh, the, the worldly life? I have spent one, at least half an hour for prayer, five minutes for prayer? No. No hurry. No time. No time. So this is the way you fail. So for the your moral your your worldly life will be of no use to you. You can't uh, grab things. So here you arrange, regulate your timing. Swami did ask Nakosram that for my sake, in the time we still know how much of time you are giving it to me. No. What answer? What answer? How will you answer that question? Swami, everything is ah, you are bluffing. No. Nakosh M time is to know for my sake, how much time you are going to give means sit down. Calm place. Close your eyes. Switch up, uh, switch off all your lights and uh, don't listen to anything else. Don't see anything else. Close your eyes. Don't talk. Don't touch. All the five gross senses controlled. Close your eyes. I got to put up a TV last month. And there, you know, Swami, I was seated there in the second row. Swami was just coming in the uh, wheelchair and he went to the lady's side. 
gave some collected, collected some paper. Or another lady gave Vibhuti. He came very near to me. I was very, very close. Swami laughed at me, smiled at me. I also smiled at you. When you are thinking all these things, what happened to your house? What happened to your other thoughts? No other thought at that time. Am I correct? We bring Prashantilayam to our house. No. You, you are in Prashantilayam. Yes. You are in Prashantilayam. That is called contemplation. So you have to be in Swami. That is contemplation. When you have this practice, automatically you will, Swami loves you like anything. This is called, you need not go to meditation stage. Swami says, it is not possible for you people to go to meditation because you have a family life. Family life, attachment, wife, children, money, brother, relatives, friends, so many things are there. So you, it is not possible for you to meditate. Meditate means you must give up everything, get out. That is not possible for you. Therefore, contemplation is enough. Spend some time for, with me. That's what he says. Spend some time with me wherever you are. Automatically, you, you, he's very close to you. He's very, very close to you. Right? Right. Anything else? Yes, Uncle. We have a couple of more questions. Uh, uh, if, if you have time, we can continue. Two, three more. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's up to you. Yeah, we are enjoying the session. So, we'll move on. Are you enjoying? Are you, are you getting bored up? No, no. We huh? are enjoying. We, we are seeing the responses from the viewers also. They are also very happy listening to you. Tell me, what is the next question? Next question is, Swami said, more you know Swami, you love Swami. Please explain me how to love Swami. How to love Swami? First of all, you know what is love? How do you define love? Cinema love. That is cinema love. I love you, you love me. That is cinema love, Baba. The love, that love does not come here. Now, the mother, a woman, a girl, before got married, before got married, does she know what is love? No. When she became child of mother, automatically love comes into her. How? Who taught her how to love a child? Who taught? It is there in her. Am I correct? In it, came out, it, it came out because she liked, correct? Yes. When you say, I love Swami, do you sacrifice for Swami? <laughs> do you sacrifice? You have to sacrifice. When, if, if oh, what, is sacrifice? what is sacrifice? He does not want your money. He does not want your property. This and that. Sacrifice your bad habits, bad karmas, satka, dushkarmas, bad habits. Make your heart pure. No thoughts. Because the when you go outside the market, there will be contaminated thoughts are coming. A lot of board, boarding, holdings you can see, the cinema holdings and all. When you see all those things, those things get into your mind. So what we should do, you know, you keep on chanting with yourself. You do not avoid all these things. You do not avoid these thoughts, chanting within yourself. You within yourself. Then your mind does not get, you know, Rama Rama has got three brothers, you know that? Isn't it? Yes, what, yes. What are, who are those brothers? Lakshmana, Bharata and Shatrughna. Who is our among the Who is the oldest? Bharata. He, Bharata, correct. Bharata, oh, Bharata was born in uh, Vishwami Nakshatra and Lakshmana was born in, in Aslesha and the other fellow was born in Makha Nakshatra. Now, Shatrughna is called, uh, Valmiki wrote in the uh, original Ramayana, Shatrughna is known as Ditya Shatrughna. That was the title given to him by Lord Valmiki, who is author of the Ramayana. What do you mean by that? See, he was contemplating on Rama, and Rama, and Rama, and found out Rama is not his brother in real sense. He is God himself. Therefore, in order to see that he, he has to remember him as God, he drives away all his enemies in his mind. Chaturgnaha, bad thoughts, glory, sensible thoughts, all this he drives away by chanting Ram, Ram, Ram. Before he goes to sleep, when he gets up, again chanting Ram and Ram and Ram, and then with the result, when he experiences Rama as God, that is the reason why in Ramayana, there is no dialogues between Rama and Satyugna. Dialogues between Satyugna and Rama, is, uh, Lakshmana, Satyugna, Lakshmana and Rama is there, Bharata and Rama is there, Satyugna no silence. He enjoyed the presence of God. Similarly, Rama also did not talk. So that is called contemplation. That is called contemplation. You do that, 
you you enjoy the presence of bhagwan wherever you are see uh, well and uh, you will bhartha talks over night and sensual sometimes you know excitement excitement rat shatrugna never excited oh why we experience god god has gone swam has gone out of the forest no forest he is here he says he is here he is with me he says bhartha never felt lakshmana never felt he defeated no he is not gone who said he is gone he is here see that is the quality if you have that kind of quality naturally you can feel the presence of god within you then you are the, that is the highest blissfulness feeling god in you you are talking to him you can talk to him that's why sitra that thing you talk to him learn to talk to him he will talk to you you know for example you are chanting i am you will talk it's going outside vibrations are there you know, it gets into the air air may be purified because we are talking about god but have you experienced god no how to talk to experience god talk within you sir god is inside you so don't uh, shout outside swami is simply put it in a simple language shut your mouth and open your heart he says shut your mouth uh, means don't talk talk within yourself you are bhajan sing within yourself then all the words goes into it so you have three balam bhuja balam buddhi balam atma balam so your words chanting within yourself goes to atma balam the atma balam comes to you atma balam comes to you your face is full of brightness full of shi- shining like anything like a hero this is the difference between our college students and uh, other college students other college students their mind their face is ugly face or bad thoughts bad habits but here our students are so good uh, you have so much of brightness prasanth they come and sit for bhajan the evenings and the mornings and uh, do you think the other college girls are city college girls no or city college boys no see that is different between uh, you think if you want to enjoy contemplate contemplate cont- this is called contemplation okay thanks uncle in fact you uh, have next. answered the next question what uh, is that how do we do everything with swami as the doer and enjoy it in day to day life so like you mentioned constant contemplation and uh, hey, the the day everything that you do put a question to yourself can i do it swami my body can my body do it body is yours and you are asking consulting buddhi you are consulting atma can i do it can i do it if atma says do it you do it you get good results but if you do it by yourself for example how servant is there there is something has to be done immediately servant asks the boss boss can i do this there is a problem here the water is leaking here can i repair it yes go ahead he will repair it suppose he does it by himself without consulting boss something goes wrong then what happened he will put into question he may lose his job am i correct yes sir am i correct he lose yes, his job yes. so consult consult because you are a servant the servant cannot take decision so you are you are you are a servant of atma atma is the owner of this body mind is not the owner of the body the body belongs to atma correct correct so when atma goes no no when the, when the, no no when the mind uh, goes to sleep or goes to what for example uh, uh, our surgery the mind they make it uh, you know, anesthesia they give mind becomes zero but heart keeps on pumping heart keeps on pumping that is because atma correct 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 so atma is the controller of the body not the mind so when you when the loses his control the body becomes dead when body goes out that is called atma vicharana that is called kapila maharshi taught his, his mother devahuti what is it devahuti complains my, my son my father your father went away the daughter got married went away i am alone you are not talking to me you are always busy with so many things what to do and he says my, my mother you are worried about yourself because you think that you are the body you are not the body you are not the body navarandra patramla sharirana vidhi kaadhi telli shashvatamu this what swami said you have talked about swami's words navarandra patramla nine the body has got nine holes kaadhi the mother don't believe this is this is shashvat this is permanent no this is not rakta nanam ana raktam nadu yamukala nadu raktam maamsamule ee body adi 
bones, flesh, blood, vessels, all the components of this body. Kapila Maharshi teaches her son, her mother, his mother, Kapila Maharshi. You know the Kapila Maharshi is one of the devotees, one of the, disc- the carnations of Bhagavan. Uh, Kapila Maharshi. His ashram is there in near Chind River, in the in Hugli River, in Hugli River in, near Bengal. He's still there, he's from Sindh. From Sindh he came to the western side of the Hugli River, his ashram is there. He says, therefore, uh, body is a gru- body is a uh, grow means house. Atma grows to the Atma is the tenant. When the tenant goes away, the body falls down. So this is the truth, you know. Don't give importance to the body, he says. Kapil Maharaj, he thought to his mother. Okay. Yes, so uh, you are the Atma, you are not the body. That you remember that. You are the Atma. Okay. Next. Uh, next question. Uh, hmm. Sairam uncle, can you elaborate further on how to become full time devotees? First thing, very solid, very easy. Very, very easy. Very easy. As a servant at home, consults everything the boss for every moment of his, then he is the best servant. Am I correct? Yes. And the, the father the father is so much enlightened the way in which he does. He gives some of his property to him. Here is a lakh of rupees, you keep it for your daughter. Does he keep it? You, do, you, you, you must have seen that in the houses. Am I correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. So he becomes a, so he is equal to and whenever the whenever the boss wants to see an alliance for his daughter, he takes his servant also. Hey, you saw the girl, girl also came, brought her, you were brought up, see whether that wow, that the Salina suits the boy. The boy. Then he says, My Yajma, this girl boy is no good. Our girl will suffer, he says. So the for the father lives to the servant servant. What is that? In the song of the house of the so therefore, if you have to consult everything Atma, nothing else. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Don't do it by yourself. Take the, that is the reason why you should not get excited. You should not get excited. You know, uh, I've heard of a Prophet Muhammad. Ah, Prophet Muhammad, yes. Right. Prophet Muhammad gives lectures every day evening. He stays in a, a, a permanent, in a rented house. The owner of the house is an old lady. She is in the first floor. She does not like the way in which this fellow is talking. So whenever she goes out, in order to, to her satisfaction, she throws all the dust on his face, on his head. So every day he, he, he gets the dust on his head, then he goes for a lecture. It has become a habit for him. Even even five minutes later, he waits there for the dust. One day he waited for half an hour, no dust came. Then he came up after and saw or this lady all suffering from fever lying down unconsciously. He did not go to give a speech. He served her for about two days, make her happy. Then she saw you. You served me? Yes. I throw two stones at you, throw dust at you. No, oh, no, that is the blessings, he said. That's the blessings. So she became a, a, a big devotee of Allah. This is a prophet Muhammad. What does it indicate? In 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 in, in, uh, in Tamil, Sahip Tanmai. In English, patience and tolerance. Develop that tolerance. The tolerance is very, very necessary if you want to come up in life. If you want to be everything, patience and tolerance. Then next comes Tyaga Bhava. See, Swami has given seven Bhava. Bhava means inner, inner feelings. You know that? First is Deva Bhava. Second is Bhagavad Bhava. Fourth is Prema. Third is Prema Bhava. Fourth is Seva Bhava. Fifth is Prasanthi Bhava. Sixth is the Shama Bhava. Seventh is Tyaga Bhava. These Bhava, Bhava means inner feelings. If you have the inner feeling, you are with God. There is no difference between you and God. And you are not 100% sure, you will have no rebirth. Bhagavad Bhav. You see God in everything. That is called Bhagavad Bhav. Nirav Bhav means opposite uh, ego, Nirav Bhav. Egolessness. So when somebody accuses you, don't get hurt. If you get hurt because you got a body feeling. Nirav Bhav, Bhagavad Bhav, Prema Bhav. Right. Prema, prema bhav, prasanti bhav, like this. Oh, these seven bhavs, if you want to talk about it, take another one hour for me. I just I'm telling you, these seven feelings should be there. Then you, you are sure to get uh, his, uh, his grace. You want to he become one. That's all I can only say. You and the God become Swami says, I and you are one. He says that if you have these seven feelings in you, you are with God, you are in God. Okay? Yes, uncle. 
Okay. Uh, any any further question, please? One last question, Uncle. Uh, yes, yes. Sairam, can you briefly ah. tell what Swami told about free will? Free will means again power of discrimination. Power of discrimination has been given only to human beings, not animals. Animals, they, they do what they want, then afterwards they keep quiet. A hungry lion, pray, kill, a, kill an elephant, kill a lamb, whatever it is. After when the stomach is full, another lamb comes in, he does not kill, he keeps quiet. Am I correct? So because they don't, they don't it, it does not want it. There is a man, power of discrimination is given to kill or not to kill, even though you are angry. But on the other hand, what we are doing is, even if you are not hungry, you are killing and making money, storing money in your. Yes. That is your worst than animal. Correct? Correct. Worst than animal. So no, you learn to give others, learn to give others. For example, for that you must have self-confidence. If you have self-confidence, you will get a self-sacrifice. For example, I, you, you have some fruits, the old man comes in, I say, why did you give me some fruits? You've got self-confidence, solid, I'll give, I can go and get to the forest to get theory rule. That is called self-confidence. When you get the self-confidence, and you are able to give the fruits, that is self-satisfaction. You get the truth, yeah, old man is very happy. Old man is very happy. Then when you practice like this, then you know self-inquiry. Oh, this has become a habit for me. Next question, self-inquiry. I-N-Q-U-I-R-Y. I-N-Q-I-R-Y means why am I doing it? Oh, this is the purpose of life. Once you understand what is the purpose of life, then you will get self-satisfaction. atma trupti. When you get atma trupti, then you are liberated, then you are free will. Free will comes to you, and you are able to realize that you are not the body, but the atma, and my duty is to serve the people without expecting anything in return. That is called liberation. That is called free will. Okay? Thanks, Uncle. Thank it you. It was a wonderful thank session. Oh, my dear boy, don't thank me. Thank the Lord. <laughs> We thank the Swami in you, definitely, Uncle. Yeah, well, thank the Swami in you also. You also is there. Don't yes. tell him. That's all. We all children of God have that feeling. We belong to one family, Thai family. There's no question of Muslim or black or white or this, nothing like that. And secondly, one more thing I want to tell you. When you go, see, suppose uh, we want to attract Muslims. You talk about Allah, they'll be very happy. Are he is the, we thought Thai organization is the cult. Swami is a cult figure. No, we are not. Swami is not a cult figure. Swami is a universal figure. All religions are the same for him. Whether you are talking about only about your Vedas, your Vedas, your the, 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 so, Pradosham, uh, Chamakam, this and that. They, they are not bothered about it. In American organization, for example, you take Punjab organization, you go and tell you, if you talk budget, tell you songs. Do they like it? No, they don't like it. You talk about the Punjabi language. Correct? Correct. 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 Look, we develop the broad, broad-mindedness. Must vast expand. Must expand. Or even say, don't belong to this chamakam, tamakam, all the chamakam business is okay. Do it unofficially by yourself. You need not do it officially. Our, our organization belongs to every human being, not for Hindus alone. Not for that's why Swami says, how many foreigners are there? No, we are not. We we expect foreigners are different. We are different. No. All the more you should go. All the more you should talk about them. Whenever I go to abroad, USA and all those things, I see a lot of Christians. I give a lot of quotations from Bibles. They like it very much. You being a Hindu, you are talking about Bible. You're talking about quotations. One or one at time, one pastor. Pastor means, you know, priest means a Catholic head of the church. Pastor means head of the Protestant church. He came to me. Sir, you are, a, you are a Hindu, you are talking so much of Jesus, so, much, so many parables you read. Can you come to our church and talk? He said. I said, yes, I'll come. So I went there in the church. And then you are introducing me. Oh, here is a, a gentleman from India, Hindu. Hindu, by name is so 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 He was talking about parables of Jesus. So I liked it very much. I wanted him to talk here. And he, I request uh, Mr. T.J. Krishnamurthy to come to the podium. You know what I said? The father, the pastor, so and so, so, so he, claim, he introduced me as a, as a Hindu, claiming himself to be a Christian. 
my dear gentlemen i am not only a hindu but also father so and so is not only a christian but also a hindu i said i am a christian because the moment i see the cross the first letter i is a ego cross it remove that ego jesus taught us so we are the pro- every christian has to be in the process of removing ego i am in the path of removing my ego is therefore i am a christian and okay. father so also i said hindu word because hindu word derived from two e stands for hindu star hind and c is uh, do stands for dur one who is away from violence he stands for himsa i'm sorry he stands for himsa do stands for dur only away from violence i'm sure you also away from violence you also non violent all of your indians <laughs> then you are <laughs> agreed say that that if that fellow says allah makan mal allah malik yes you agree allah malik you call allah i call rama somebody call jesus somebody call jehova all right but they they will say allah yes but oh i don't join with them i am different i want to talk about the vedas charanam yoga all those you forget about these things you do for your own purpose but in the organization do not bring it to organization if you are bringing to organization all these things then the foreigners outsiders chinese on the east eastern side chinese buddhists are there and western side you are uh, christians are there they think this satya sai baba is a cult no satya sai baba is a universal figure uh, they, you see our symbol all religions are same all symbol gives enlightenment light correct then where the question of uh, not give respect to others correct tell me am i not correct definitely you are right uncle uh, like what's the expand 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 you know the something of love uh, no, uh, love conquers all you know one thing i brought so uh, education minister of abu dhabi if you want to see that photo i will show you the photo abu dhabi abu dhabi photo uh, i brought him we came to put to put the stay for a night he stayed there he stayed there and next day morning at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock so i one hour interview i went what do you say and one more thing for red indian his name is walking bear oh his, his, his name is walking bear and he used to say hey, so uh, one day the, the, he had a petrol bunk in the petrol bunk adilla uh, here a petrol bunk one our side devotee went there you see i talk about the minister uh, what is that uh, arabian minister abu dhabi here abu dhabi see that wonderful can you see that yes yes uncle abu dhabi myself and one mr b r shetty yes <laughs> yeah? and one more Okay, let's see that. He is okay. He is Abu Dhabi. You know why? I went to Abu Dhabi for a function. In that function, uh, I put uh, we had to give VCD card. I gave my VCD card. Next day, my friend who was there with him, so he telephoned me, sir, our education minister want to see you. I said I got scared. I did not do anything, Baba. What to do? How can I come to the minister's place? Then I may not come back. No, 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 no. no. He wants to see you. He wants to respect you. This and that. All right, let us go. Shall we go? Yes. And then uh, I went there, and uh, the, uh, that uh, one one of these all dress all are even dress the same dress, isn't it? So one fellow opened the door, car door. I said, "Thank you, sir. Thank you." That fellow said, "Pleasure is mine." There were servants also speak English. I said. <laughs> so we, we both went to his. He took us to his room. He remembered I sat there, and he went away. Ah, our own our own style. Our own style. Minister comes only after four hours. And then no sir he said sir the man who opened the door is for minister he said oh my <laughs> god you opened the door for <laughs> i was scared then after 5 minutes he came and sat then what first thing he said are you comfortable in my country okay oh you are so good like this your country is like this now sort of praise after four or five minutes he just kept front like this how we sai baba i was taken aback oh my god this fellow is talking sai baba he started giving me lectures see all the only personality in this world today is sai baba who can compare all, who can integrate all the religions of the world into one called love we are encouraging indirectly artificially all the muslims to go there that's what he said he said i was so much scared they were coming not so happy 
I wrote it, told Swami, Swami, I'm presenting, bring, bring him. Yes, Tom. We, we brought him here and he spent one hour, one hour with the Swami gave one hour interview. Okay, you know, in the like this, we can give many examples like this. It's enough for me, I think it's already one, one and a half hours, 90 minutes. Enough, because mind gets confused for you people. For me, I don't know. For me, it's a practice for me to talk two or three hours. It's enough. Next time we'll see you. Okay? God, God bless you, all of you. All yeah. of you, God bless you. Silent to all of you. Silent to all of you. Uh, to conclude, I just would like to summarize a few points that uh, we learned as pearls of uh, wisdom today. Uh, you told us that wherever we are, by contemplating on Swami, we can uh, be in Prashantanalayam itself. We need not physically be there in Prashantanalayam. And you said, So you should do it. For example, you know, I never think in bhajans. I go and sit in the bhajans. As if, you know, why? If I don't go to bhajans, you will think, oh, he's experienced man. So we also experience the bhajans. I did not go. You will see, Swami says, Swami, you know, a five-year-old boy or a ten-year-old boy gives a lecture, put a birthday. And immediately Swami also claps. I you seen that? <laughs> whether, he talk, yes. whether, whether he talks rightly or wrongly, Swami collapses. What does it mean? He encourages. Yes. He encourages. So similarly, we should go to present in LA, every function we should go and Definitely. it's a lesson for our youngsters that they, they must go. That is the pilgrimage center. That is the spiritual capital of the world. You must go there. Keep that in mind. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Right. Sai Ram. Sai Ram. Uh, and you also told us as youngsters, we have to take up his message into our life. Naturally. We entirely depend on you. We entirely depend on youngsters. Please. And we will definitely remember that he is always watching us. Yes, certainly. He is watching. Yes, he is certainly watching. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Okay. Thanks, Uncle. Uh, uh, thanks. Again, thanks. Uh, like you said, thanks to Swami who is in all of us. Uh, I, no, Swami is watching. Uh, yeah, I, you are listening. I am talking. Somebody is listening. All things are being watched by Swami in his own television. In his own television. Isn't it? Yes, thank you. Uh, he's watching. He's watching. So the let us let, our duty is to please him. Let us please Bhagavan in our actions, in our thoughts, in our uh, words. Okay. Sai Ram. We okay. will Sai Ram. Sai Ram. Om Shanti Shanti and Samastha Loka. Yes. Okay, okay. Chant Om yourself. Om Shanti 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 Hi Samastha Loka Sukhino Bhavantu Samastha Loka Sukhino Bhavantu Samastha Loka Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Jai Bolo Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai Baba Ji Ki Jai स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य परिपालयन्ता न्यायेन मार्गेन महे महेशा गो ब्राह्मणे भ्य शुभमस्त नित्यं समस्त लोका सुखिनो भवन Namaste, no.